about college ball a little bit more. Plenty of interesting headlines to follow on Saturday when it comes to college football. Kansas Jayhawks on a historic 3-0 opening run with their home game sold out against Duke going on later this afternoon. Could they extend the record to 4-0? Yeah, it's it's nice to be three and zero, but it's it's only as good as what we're going to do this week as well, and 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 staying locked into the to the the small things and the expectations of our players on and off the field have to remain consistent. So Kansas kicks off at 11 a.m. today, Saturday. Mizzou and K-State also going to take the field. It's the Tiger Bowl for Missouri. Mizzou on the road at Auburn with an 11 a.m. kick as well. K-State facing Oklahoma. That's a 7 p.m. kick in Norman. All right, that's it for a look at your morning sports. Hope you have a great rest of your Saturday. All righty, the University of Kansas football team prepares for kickoff and fans, well, they are excited. In just over four hours, the team will host Duke. And right now, KU hopes to keep their winning streak alive with a perfect 3-0 start right now. KSHB 41 News reporter Jordan Betts joins us live outside David Booth, Kansas Memorial Stadium. Jordan, you had some fans behind you. It was loud. The game is sold out. Am I right? It is sold out. Actually, Deja, fun surprise. We made our way inside the stadium. We're right now. The marching band is rehearsing for that sold out game. More than 47,000 people will be surrounding this stadium today. It's kind of surreal to think about how packed the stadium is going to be just with here the next few hours at the 11 a.m. kickoff. Hey, if you are coming down here, here are a few things that you should know. There will be a DJ on the hill at starting at 8 o'clock. The Hawk Walk, which is where the football team comes out. They see the fans. That'll be at 845. Gates open at 930. Marching Hawks on the hill at 10 and kickoff at 11 a.m. The athletic department is encouraging fans to download your mobile tickets prior to arriving because sometimes we know signal can be iffy as well as to get here early due to traffic delays on K10 and 23rd Street. I was on 23rd Street earlier. There is a lot of construction and so you do want to make sure that you are uh, get some, a little bit of time before you come out here. Don't miss the fun tailgates. I did see a few people pulling in so I hope that was fans but this marching bound sounds incredible here they have a super fun halftime show planned including that includes mama mia here so it's going to be great we'll send it back to you deja jordan some great information there and you know you use the word surreal and that's kind of a word that comes to mind as it is actually your last day on air with us Yeah, it is a little surreal, especially because I've grown to love the state of Kansas. And I've grown to love KU. Uh, it is my last day. I'm leaving the TV business uh, for now, at least. Um, thank you to everyone that has um, to, to let me tell their stories, the amazing friends that I've made, family, pe people that have basically become family here in Kansas City. I am sticking around here in Kansas City because that's how much I love it. It's been an incredible four years from covering the Chiefs at the Super Bowl to seeing KU go to a Final Four to talking about mental health in school to COVID uh, kind of experienced it all. And so uh, I'm really proud that I stayed here and I really love Kansas and I've developed a best friend like Deja and um, oh, couldn't be any better. Oh, Jordan, thank you so much. It's been an honor to work with you on, on weekends and have you as a coworker and now lifelong friend. Appreciate you. <laughs>